What's up, guys? It is me. It's, it's, look, your eyes aren't deceiving you. It is me. I'm back. And I'm better than ever. I actually am. You know, for once in my life, I'm feeling as if I am actually doing the thing they call life to an acceptable, an acceptable standard for me. You know, it could be acceptable to anyone else, but unless you yourself feel as if you are doing the right things and, and moving down the right paths in life, nothing anyone else thinks or says is going to mean shit. And so I'm coming to you right here, right now, saying that at this very moment in life, I am on a path forward, um, not stagnant or going backwards, which is the way that I've felt for the most part of the last couple of years. Um, you know, to cut a long story short, and look, before I get into any of that, I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you guys for, for continuing to support me, um, continuing to watch my content, um, and continuing to, um, you know, join me on this, this journey they call life. I just decided to put the majority of mine on YouTube. But I haven't done for the last three or four months, and some of you will have noticed that. So where have I been? Well, I've been here in Alice Springs. Uh, I've been in Alice Springs since the 9th of December. Today is the 1st of April. And um, no, there will not be any April Fool's jokes around here. Um, the only joke is how much I'm working at the moment, which is 60 hours a fucking week. 60 hours a week. I've never, ever done that in my entire life. Actually, no, that's a lie. Back in 2015, 2016, when they were really uh, smashing us with hours at my, my old job, which was a 12-hour shift, uh, doing five of them a week would be 60 hours, right? But at the moment, I'm actually sharing those 60 hours over two different jobs. So I've got two jobs, which is definitely one thing I've never done before. But I got here to Alice Springs having spent pretty much every single cent I had. Um, I knew that I could, I could move in here and, and camp here. Uh, with my kids and with the mother of my kids for as long as I needed um, but I knew that for me to be able to provide and for me to uh, start building up my self-esteem again I, I was going to have to make some changes and those changes happened you know I, I stopped drinking I started exercising again and I got a job and then I got two jobs you know so I arrived here pretty uh, you know out of shape um, uh, unemployed and just really quite lost you know what I mean and I can say after putting in the work over the last three months I'm not feeling as lost I'm feeling a hell of a lot more determined um, you know and sorry excuse that in the background if anyone's wondering that was um, yeah basically any white wall in the house is seen as a massive sheet of paper to be drawn on and you know Clearly, I didn't, I didn't get to that one fast enough, but it is what it is. It comes with the territory of having kids, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm in, enjoying being as pre, a present dad um, as much as I can. You know, it is hard working 60 hours a week and then trying to maintain somewhat of a, a household, uh, trying to maintain somewhat of, a, um, of a, a balance between, you know, life and work. But in a place of in a place like Alice Springs, you know, I don't really have any desire to, to leave the house unless it's to go to work or to train in the gym. So life at the moment has been literally work, kids, and training when I can. And that's okay. You know, that that is okay. I'm cool with that. And being that I have worked 60 hours a week for the last couple of months straight. Uh, I've been able to save a bit of money and I've been able to shout Miffy and the two kids a trip for the next month over to Townsville. So they, um, they've just left this morning and I'm here in the house by myself for the next month. And so I am going to try and, and use this time, or at least the time that I'm not working, to bring my YouTube channel back to life. And this video is where it starts. So if anyone wants to head over to my other YouTube channel, it's okay to talk. The link is down in the description box and that is where I have shared this turnaround, this 180. Um, I've shared my journey since arriving here in Alice Springs. And the first part of the journey was to quit drinking because drinking had become so much of a habit, um, so much of a crutch that I wasn't willing to, to let it go until one 
thing happened. One fateful thing. Um, and that was, I woke up one morning with a hangover, as per usual, no job, no direction. And, uh, and I looked at my account and I had absolutely nothing, nothing left, not a single accessible cent to my name. And that is when it really changed. That's when I said to myself, look, if this is your rock bottom, you're probably getting off scot-free because your health is still intact. Um, your financial health is still intact, although you don't have any you know, money accessible at the time. What are you going to do? You're going to get a job. You're going to get a job. You have to get a job. YouTube is not paying the bills anymore. And that's what I did. So this video is all about just updating you guys where I'm at. Um, you can probably tell, you know, I am I am feeling positive. I mean, even just the fact that I've been able to provide and pay for a trip away for my, my kids and their mum is, is, is amazing. And she deserves it. And to see the smiles on their faces as they walked into the, the airport was incredible. I've come back here. One of my jobs is actually working from home. The other is working elsewhere. So I'm currently on a break from my job at home. I'll let you guys know exactly what I'm doing in future. But for now, I better get back there um, and and put down some I jot down some ideas for for YouTube videos. If anyone's got any ideas, if anyone wants to throw me anything, throw me a bone. Um, you know, let me know down in the comment section below. But until then, have a great day. It is April first, but there's no jokes around here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.